To put it plainly, Mercedes's complacency from both the racing team and the wider Mercedes organization itself ultimately influenced Hamilton's decision to join for Ferrari, and therefore Mercedes should not really be surprised that he has decided to leave them. For me, this all stemmed back to the signing of George Russell. Looking back in hindsight, there were two issues with this signing. The first problem was that the signing of Russell was Mercedes indirectly telling Lewis that Russell was his replacement in the medium to long term. This was an issue as there was no indication that Lewis was regressing as a driver, and when you also look at Alonso and his strong performances while being three years Hamilton's senior, there was no real reason for Mercedes to believe that Hamilton could not still be the team leader for another five years minimum. The second issue with signing Russell was that Mercedes were disrupting their winning formula of Hamilton and Bottas, which brought them great success over the years. Similar to what Barrichello was to Schumacher, Bottas was that for Hamilton, and this pairing created a great dynamic where there was the lead driver, while the other would be competent enough to collect solid points and finish where they were expected to be. However, not only did Mercedes disrupt this by signing Russell, but then they further added problems by claiming that both drivers were to be treated equally. In my opinion, this was ludicrous by Mercedes. Schumacher's status at Ferrari would have never been rescinded, even with the signing of an up-and-coming prospect, neither would Verstappen's at Red Bull. Yet Mercedes felt that they should treat a driver with no achievements at that point in time, with the same treatment as they would with the most successful driver in F1 history. And this right here was a little indication into how they did not really value Hamilton, like how he should have been valued. Moving on, I think that Mercedes's biggest mistake from both the Formula One team and the Mercedes organization itself is that they believed that Hamilton needed them more than they needed Hamilton. Mercedes began to feel as if no matter how good or bad they performed, that Hamilton would never leave them due to the emotional connection between them and the history that they had created over the past years. And this is why Hamilton signing for Ferrari caught them off guard because they thought that they had him wrapped around their finger. Mercedes essentially believed that they had the power over Hamilton. And this is why I believe we saw them give him reduced salary amounts in his contracts as well as their reluctance to give him over two years extensions. If the relationship was ever going to end, Mercedes wanted to do it solely on their terms, and I believe that they were slowly phasing him out the door for the end of 2025 where they would replace him with Kimi Antonelli. And adding insult to injury, it was also rumored that the Mercedes organization weren't willing to make Lewis Hamilton an ambassador of the team. And I think that this was the straw that broke the camel's back for Lewis to leave the team. After all he had done for them by helping them to win all of those drivers and constructors championships, as well as boosting their marketing through his association to their organization, the least they could do is make him a brand ambassador of the company that he has been a part of for over a decade in F1, and nearly two and a half decades in his racing career. But apparently they did not believe so, while Ferrari, on the other hand, were willing to offer him all of this and more. We even saw Mercedes' lack of respect in real time during the course of the 2023 season. This was demonstrated in their inability to turn up when Hamilton had a podium position in both Australia and Singapore. And we even saw it at the final race in Abu Dhabi, where Mercedes were acting as if Russell secured them P2 in the constructors, despite Hamilton carrying the whole team on his back for the entire season, outperforming both the car and his teammate to achieve the P2 for the team. Whether or not Mercedes wanted Hamilton to be a part of their medium to long-term plans, ultimately their treatment towards him gave him no choice but to leave.